This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. Another quagmire dealing this time with Avast antivirus. So this video is about how to fix Avast antivirus that has stopped working. We can go over some of the details because that's important when you troubleshoot. So this is their request verbatim. I am visiting Lexington, Kentucky from Australia. I have been having trouble opening my AVAS antivirus for several days since I stayed in Washington District of Corruption. The current license expires in May. In desperation, I have just purchased a new subscription for two additional years, and I have downloaded it to my computer, but I cannot... I, I just heard a noise. I don't know. I don't know. I just somebody just distracted me, but I cannot complete the installation. I have been through the process as far as the screen that shows the installation in progress, but after that, I don't get a screen saying installation complete. And then, can you help? Okay, so this turned into a huge quagmire. I'm not going to lecture because of time constraints, but basically, if you're patient, in a few moments, I'm going to tell you what fixed this problem. Now, they claimed that they downloaded a newer version of Avast antivirus software. However, they were not 100% certain. I don't, I don't understand that. How can you install software on a computer and not know within, with 100% certainty that that's a different version or an upgraded version? I don't know, man. Okay, then they went ahead and ran a complete antivirus scan. Now, you don't always need to necessarily download and install the latest version of your antivirus software. However, that could be productive. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is good to update your antivirus software and make sure it's, you know, the newest, you know what I'm saying. And I'm not talking about the database, no. Okay. They claimed that when they performed that full Avast antivirus scan, that nothing worked with their Avast software. Okay, now this individual was using Microsoft Windows 10 operating system, and I'm just going to cut to the chase and tell you what they did because they just ran into all kinds of problems that to me are not necessary, just forgetting what email address they used. It's just, come on, man. Come on, this is, you know, well into the 2000s, you know what I mean? I digress back to this video report. Okay. Now, they claim that they visited an internet cafe and that they may have contacted a virus, contracted a virus. I'm not going to lecture. That deals with a, a public network. and But here, now, this is what fixed the issue. All right, this is what I instructed them to do. Remove all instances of Avast antivirus in apps and features. Then go ahead and download the newest version from Avast's official website, which I think is avast.com, and then go ahead and install it. You will have to make sure that you have a working license key, so you better know what your license key is. You always want to save the email that had the license key or the packaging that had the license key. Again, this is well into the 2000s. No more excuses. You know what I'm saying? All right. This is what fixed it. You can perform a system restore. Now, you could go ahead and, you know, remove and, and you know, from apps and features and then install AVAS. However... There is a problem with the Microsoft Windows operating system, among many. One is the registry. The Microsoft Windows registry is terrible because it gets cluttered with all kinds of crap. Also, software programs do not do not clean up after themselves very well. And there's a tool called CCleaner. You do not have to use CCleaner. That is my preferred tool on micro crap micro slop wind blows operating system c cleaner you could perform a clean session and a registry scan but you know what why waste all that time when you can use microsoft windows system restore 
And that's what fixed their issue. You can restore your computer back before he had this problem with the Avast antivirus software. All right. And here are the instructions. What you do is you click on create a restore point. Then a system properties window will open up and then you should be in the system protection tab of that window. Then you're going to click on system restore and then another system restore window will open up and then you'll want to click on next. In the next window you will be able to select your restore point. If what you do is you place a checkbox in the show more restore points. Well, you place a check in the show more restore points box. Look for it. So, you know, if it just depends on whether or not, and I hear another, I hear a mutt barking. You can't make this play this up, man. I'm getting distracted a lot in this video and I'm, and I'm getting really upset about it, but I'm trying to control myself and just finish this video. Okay. So if there is more than one restore point, and then if you get if you get the option of show more restore points click the check in the box and it'll show more restore points what you want to do is choose the windows system restore point back before you had this problem if you can remember you know what i mean and then choose that restore point and then microsoft windows operating system will restore the image back to that time then you would click on next and then in order to begin the system restore, you would click on finish. And then your computer will have to reboot in order to restore the image, the restore point that you chose. And I'm not going to lecture about public networks and blah, 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 blah. And you should never forget the email. You know, I just I don't understand it. You're just mucking around, wasting time. You forgot your email address you use for your, your antivirus subscription. What else is this? Uh, this, this, this? This person just, I don't understand it. So let's move along from that. That is it. That is how to fix your Avast antivirus that stopped working. All right. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com to fix your most common computer problems. You can also find out the other platforms that I'm available by browsing to anetcomputers.com. You can browse, subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash anetcomputers. I am also located on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Trovo.live, Twitch.tv, and even Rumble. How dare I? Adios!